today we will talk about maps and mapping maps represents the real world on a much smaller scale they help you travel from one location to another they help you organize the information they help you figure out where you are and how to get where you want to go what are the uses of maps maps provide detailed information and provide topographical data in much more detail than a globe and maps are easier to prepare and can be modified as physical or political situations change for example the road maps there are eight different types of maps the political map the physical map the topographic map the climatic map the economic or resource map road map the scale of a map and the symbols now let's move on to what are the example of mapping everyone now this is the example of mapping the mapping app on smartphones can help you get directions to nearly any locations in the world learn the basics of the of using the google maps app on an Android device. This is the app icon for Google Maps. When opened, Google Maps will display your current location and the immediate surroundings on the map. The blue in the center of the map represents you. To look around the map, you can drag left right, down, and up. Zoom in on the map by either double tapping the screen or by placing two fingers close together on the screen and stretching them apart. Like that. To zoom out, Place two fingers apart on the screen and pinch them together. So it is zoom out. If you lose track of your position on the map, you can tap here to center the map on your current location. Yes, you find your current location. To find a particular place on the map, you use the search bar at the top of the screen. Tapping the bar will initiate a search. Then, type an address, street, city, country, or even the name of the point of interest, such as Eiffel Tower. As you type, Google Maps will automatically make suggestions based on the text you've entered. Select what you want to search for by tapping it on the list. When you are using Google Maps, you make sure that you have your data or your mobile data to make it operate. Here. Yeah. 
Google Maps will fly to the location and drop a red pin, which is at the center. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the address or name of the location. Based on the mode of transportation. Also displayed is the estimated travel time that will take to get there to this location based on the mode of transportation. Here, it says that you need to take 24 hours to get there by an airplane. To get turn by turn directions to location, you tap on the blue circle for more information about the location. Tap either the red pin or the bar to be taken to an information page. Third turn to the map view. Tap the arrow on the upper left of the screen. When you go back to your location, just tap here. That's all. Thank you.